So I just got a weird email sent to my YouTube email address. It says, if you send me a video of your feet, I will send you a cool toy in the mail. <laughs> That's enough internet for today. Oh, this thing's heavy. Look at this new toy I got. <laughs> Let me zoom in real quick. All right, so hey everyone, I'm John. I'm a content creator based in San Francisco. One of the cool things about being a YouTuber is that brands will wanna work with you and they'll send you out their products for you to try out and review. To be honest, sometimes the items are meh. They're not really that great, so I turn them down. Other times the emails are totally scam and they're like trying to steal my information and I block those immediately. And every once in a while, a company will send me a really intriguing email. They will flatter me and tell me that they really like my videos and that they wanna work with me. And the cherry on top is that they have a product that I'd actually want to try out. And this company right here, Smoosat, they won me over. So let's open up this box and see what's inside. I have my trusty unboxing knife. All right, moment of truth. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm surprised they fit this all in here. Is it broken? Whoa. All right, clearly I'm really bad at unboxing. Let me just fast forward this part. All right, so that was really easy. And here it is. Assembly was actually really easy. All I had to do was put this handlebar on top. It looks like there's some screws to secure it in place. And then there's also this little hinge thing, whatever, so that it collapses up and down. I just realized I just got completely distracted. I didn't even introduce what this is. So this is an electric scooter by a company called Smoosat. So the reason why I said yes to this company is because I thought it'd be really cool to have an electric scooter, especially here in San Francisco. It's gonna be really useful. And I mean, it's an electric scooter, so pretty much all I have to do is record myself riding it around and demoing the features, which is gonna be a fun time anyways. I found out they have really good reviews and that they're a pretty reputable seller on Amazon. Plus, I don't have to say anything that I don't wanna say. I can really say anything I want. I can give you my full and honest opinions about this scooter. If I end up not liking this scooter, I'll be upfront about that. So stick around until the end to figure out if I think that this scooter is worth it. So it comes with a few items. Instructions, it says step one, kick off to reach the speed of three miles per hour. Step two, push down the throttle. So it sounds like you have to build up some momentum before you can actually start the electric scooter. It comes with a manual. And then here's some instructions on how to adjust the folding mechanism. It comes with a charger. Actually, let me just charge it right now. I want to get it up and running this weekend so that I can give it a test run and then start reviewing it. And then before I forget, this is what the charger looks like. Pretty standard. Actually, I don't know why I said that. I don't know what a standard electric scooter charger looks like. Pretty simple. Just plug it into the outlet and let it charge. And then I will check in with you in the future. All right, it's a few days later now and the scooter is all charged up and ready to go. So I'm super excited to test it out. So to make this video a little bit more interesting, I thought I would show you what it's like to live in San Francisco while also showcasing the features of this electric scooter. So today we're gonna go to Golden Gate Park and also to a farmer's market and also to the beach. So let's go. Yeah. All right, first stop is the Farmer's Market in Outer Sunset. It's open every Sunday and they have a lot of great vendors. There's even live music, which I think is pretty cool. And I think it's definitely a great way to spend a sunny afternoon. Having the scooter in the Farmer's Market was nice because it's actually really easy to maneuver. And I liked how I could walk around with it because to be honest, I had no plan on what to do if I needed to lock it up somewhere. From this experience, I can definitely see myself using the scooter to run errands or to get to places nearby quickly. So after eating some food and before heading to the beach, I double checked the safety features of this scooter. There's brake lights, headlights, and there's also a bell that makes a nice ding. Riding down Great Highway along the beach was a lot of fun and very beautiful. They closed it off to vehicles so I was able to go max speed which is 16 miles per hour or 25 kilometers per hour. Smoosat says that this scooter has a large battery capacity and it can go long range up to 20 miles. To put this to the test, I rode all the way up and around Golden Gate Park.
By the time I got to the bison that live in the park, I had ridden 3 miles and I still had a full battery. My goal for this review is to ride at least 10 miles, so I kept exploring the park and even came across these horses. I grew up here in San Francisco and I've been to the park many times, but I probably only explored less than half of this park, so this was pretty cool to find. Alright, I have no idea how people film themselves when they're by themselves because every time I leave my camera I feel like someone's gonna steal it. I honestly I have no idea how this footage is gonna turn out but I hope you're enjoying it. So it took me a while but I finally hit 10 miles and I still had more than half of my battery left so I do believe there are claims that this scooter can go 20 miles which is pretty awesome. Alright, my first impressions is that it's fast, it's fun, and it's kind of scary. So I've literally been riding around in the park for over two hours so I think it's time to go home, I'm hungry. <laughs> Okay, so it's been a few days since my first test of the scooter. I've taken it out a few more times to really get a feel for how it is in a day-to-day -day usage. And I've come up with my thoughts of what I like and what I don't like. Let's just start with the negatives because I only have a few of those. So number one, it's taken me a long time to get used to the brakes. And I don't really like having the brakes on the front wheel because it always feels like I'm going to fly off the scooter. But I hope with practice that this gets a lot better. But for now, I'm not liking it. Number two, it's kind of heavy at 35 pounds. This wouldn't be so bad if I just had to pick it up every now and then. But I live in an apartment building. I'm on the top floor and I don't have an elevator. So it's a pretty good workout to get it in and out of my apartment. It it's not a deal breaker for me, but definitely something you should consider when you're buying one. Number three, it can get pretty bumpy. I definitely felt some of the bumps in the road, especially when I was riding on gravel. And I don't have any other electric scooters to compare, but maybe that's just how they all are. I don't really know. Number four, it can't handle steep hills. And this is important for me because I live in San Francisco where there's a lot of steep hills. So there were a couple of times where I had to walk it uphill, but honestly, it wasn't that bad. And to be fair, it does handle some hills pretty well. So it just really depends on how hilly the area you're going to be riding it is. And now on to the positives. So reason number one, which I think is also the actually biggest selling point of this scooter, is that it's fun to ride around and I find myself wanting to go out more just so that I can ride around the scooter. And along those lines, I do think it's very practical. I can definitely see myself running errands with it or going to and from the bus when I commute to work. So I do think it's very handy and practical and fun to ride. So number two, the battery is really amazing. As I did in my test, I did 10 miles and I still had over half my battery left and I think that's really good. Number three, the scooter has a lot of features. The LED display is great. There's multiple gears you can go into. You can turn on the headlight. You can switch between miles and kilometers. And there's even a cruise control mode if you find yourself going up and down the beach like I did. <laughs> Number four, getting started was really easy. All I had to do was put on the handlebars, screw them in, and then charge it up and it was ready to go. Number five, folding it down is really easy when I want to store it in my apartment. And also the latch system is really great for when I want to carry it around. It's super sturdy and I don't worry about it like coming apart at all. And lastly, I just like the look and feel of the scooter. It looks really great. I like the design of it. It's very minimal and aesthetic and I do feel like it's very durable as well. You can tell they put a lot of thought into this scooter because there's like a ton of tiny details that really make it a like supreme product so for example i really like how they have the instructions on the scooter so you don't have to memorize the button controls or having to carry around an instruction manual the charging port has a cover so when you're riding around you don't have to worry about dirt or mud getting into it or anything like that and the base of the scooter is really wide and has a lot of grip to it so i didn't have any issues with sliding off or anything like that there's also the kickstand that works as expected and then all the safety features like the headlights the brake lights and the little bell it's just like such a great design so overall, the positives outweigh the negatives for me, and I'm very happy with riding this scooter around. Thank you again to Smoothsat for sending this over to me. If you want to get your own, I'll have a coupon code and instructions for how you can get a discount all in the description below. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.